Chapter 14 Darkness Despero lay on his back at the bottom of the steps and touched the bones in his body one by one. They were all there and, amazingly, they were unbroken. He got to his feet and became aware of a terrible, foul, extremely insulting smell. The dungeon reader stank. It stank of despair and suffering and hopelessness, which is to say that the dungeon smelled of rats. And it was so dark. Despero had never before encountered darkness so awful, so all-encompassing. The darkness had a, a physical presence, as if it were a being all uh, its own. The mouse held one small paw up in front of his whiskers. He could not see it, and he had the truly alarming thought that perhaps he, Despero Tilling, did not even exist. Oh my! He said out loud. His voice echoed in the smelly darkness. Perfidy, said Despero, just to hear his voice again, just to assure himself that he did exist. P, said Despero, and the name of his beloved was immediately swallowed up by the darkness. He shivered, he shook, he sneezed. His teeth chattered. He longed for his handkerchief. He grabbed hold of his tail. It took him a long, frightening moment to even locate his tail. So absolute was the darkness. To have any something, anything to hold on to. He considered fainting. He deemed it the only reasonable response to the situation in which he found himself. But then he remembered the words of the Threadmaster. Honor, courtesy, devotion, and bravery. I will be brave, thought Despero. I will try to be brave like a knight in shining armor. I will be brave for the Princess P. How best for him to be brave. He cleared his throat. He let go of his tail. He stood up straighter. Once upon a time, he said out loud in the darkness. He said these words because they were the best, the most powerful words that he knew. And just saying them comforted him. Once upon a time, he said again, feeling a tiny bit braver. There was a knight, and he wore always an armor of shining silver. Once upon a time, boomed a voice from the darkness. A knight in shining armor? Why always... An armor of shining silver. Once upon a time. That voice, the loudest voice that Despero had ever heard, could only, he assumed, belong to the world's largest rat. Despero's small, overworked heart stopped beating. And for the second time that day, the mouse fainted. Boys, girls, please. The story has a great ending. It's a thousand million times better than the movie. Trust me. So even though it's dark and it's spooky, don't be afraid. There's brownies in the oven and everything's going to be all right.